Hey, you're looking good today. This is Frank in the Brazil Times newsroom, and here's what's happening. We've got another big edition of the Brazil Times on this Monday, 16 pages, so you'll want to pick up your copy. On the front page, uh, three choristers from Northview High School were recently selected to participate in the 2018 Indiana All-State Choir. They are Madeline Sinders. Cheyenne Mullenix and Chloe Hayes, all of Northview High School. In shortly after last week's fiery crash involving a school bus and a sport utility vehicle, State Representative Alan Morrison implored those on social media to speak their minds about what many have deemed a dangerous intersection. While there was no uh, injuries reported, no injuries reported, in last Monday's crash at U.S. 40 and County Road 425 West, four children were taken to a local hospital for further observation, and the SUV involved caught fire, and its driver had to be helped from his burning vehicle. I don't think there is any harm in trying, Morrison said of his renewed plea to the Indiana Department of Transportation to have a stoplight installed at U.S. 40 and 425 West. Actually, he said... I think there is harm in not trying. And a couple big festivals over the weekend. The K-Day was Saturday with a big parade, and we have a lot of photos uh, from K-Day in uh, today's uh, paper. A lot of photos from the Cory Apple Festival that took place over the weekend as well. Hey, Karen Burke, I'm glad to see you this morning. And let's see, you want to check out those pictures. Also online, we have a lot more photos from both K-Day and uh, the Cory Apple Festival at our website, www.thebraziltimes.com. Opening up the paper, we have uh, a lot of uh, good information from you from around the state and around the nation. A lot of letters to the editor uh, a lot of them uh, are thank you notes from people who uh, appreciate their neighbors helping out. And that's always a good thing to see. Uh, so you'll have to check those letters to the editor out. And again, once again, they are on our website as well. In sports on this Monday, we are reporting that uh, Northview Volleyball picked up their 11th straight win. Northview Volleyball won its 11th sought straight match with 25-14, 25-13, 25-16 victory against Brown County on Saturday morning. And boy, I tell you, wasn't Friday night interesting? We were driving back from uh, Terre Haute, and I thought I saw lightning. My wife said she saw lightning, and I couldn't believe it because there was no forecast of rain. But uh, nevertheless, we did see lightning, and those lightning delays start uh, uh, delayed the start of the uh, Northview game at North Putt for over two hours. So uh, that was that was quite something. We've got the full story from that game in today's edition. We uh, we had the score in the uh, Saturday edition, but uh, that game went so late. Uh, we uh, we couldn't get the story in. I think the game wrapped up at like 11.45. And uh, so we did our best. But uh, our sports editor, Kerry Fox, has the whole story for you in today's edition. Harvey Roscoe's here. Glad to see you, Harvey. And let's see here. Uh, what else is going on? Well, we have news from... Uh, Lincoln Park Speedway, Kerry Fox also reports from Putnamville as the 2017 season winds down at Lincoln Park Speedway. The Putnamville rival Oval hosted a doubleheader weekend with a full slate of racing action. On Saturday night, Jeff Bland Jr. capped a big weekend with a sprint car victory that came on the heels of a win Friday at Bloomington Speedway. We also have our full-page uh, sports schedule, our fall sports schedule, all of the uh, local teams on there, the local high school teams from uh, Northview and Clay City. And let's see here. We also have our, uh, we also have our uh, uh, opinion page in today's edition. 
And in addition to those uh, thank you letters that we have, we got in the Wayback Machine and went back to this week, that year, 1956. And this is something I've got to share with you. This is really cool. Now, remember, this is uh, the week of September 24th through the 30th of uh, 1956 we're talking about. And that week, the Brazil Times reported it was on September 30th, a year earlier, 1955, that the actor James Dean of Fairmont, Indiana, died in a fatal car accident. And uh, that has a local connection, believe it or not, to Brazil. Mrs. Galen Evans of 1016 North Walnut Street used to live in Fairmont, and uh, she was a first cousin of Winston Dean, who was uh, James Dean's father. And uh, Mrs. Evans' son, Johnny, was one of the as aspirants. He wanted to be on the, on the basketball team, the Brazil Junior High basketball team. Anyway, he received his first lessons in Indiana's favorite sport by none other than James Dean out in the farm lot of the Marcus Winslow Farm at Fairmont. Now, can't you just see James Dean wearing a leather jacket with a cigarette dangling out of his mouth shooting hoops with a little boy on the family farm barn lot. I just think that is that is so cool that James Dean did that before he became a star, and of course then he died in that terrible car accident. So anyway, that, that was really cool. And we've got a lot more history from 1956 this week, that year, in today's edition. Okay, now we have uh, national news, world news... Bring you up to date on all that stuff. And don't forget, there are two sections. We have a B section in today's paper as well. And that has a lot of community news in it. Congratulations to Forrest and Dorothy Kaiser, who are celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary. And let's see, we've got our classified ads in there. Everybody wants to know what's, what's in the classified ads, see if they can get a real bargain. And uh, let's see, the Clay County Planner. Tells you all about what we have been told about is going on in the uh, days ahead. So you want to check that out. So, a lot of stuff in today's paper. I haven't even covered half of it. And uh, all that is uh, on our website as well, www.thebraziltimes.com. You have an outstanding day. I'm Frank Phillips in the Brazil Times newsroom, and I look forward to seeing you the next time we get together.